Skywatch Media News for August the 7th, 2021. Solar activity is intensifying much faster than anticipated. The latest indicator is found in the sunspot count for July of 2021, which is more than twice the prediction. In the trend that begun last year, the sunspot activity is overperforming the official forecast for Solar Cycle 25. In the year 2019, the NOAA Prediction Panel forecast called for Solar Cycle 25 to peak in July of the year 2025. But current data now shows the solar cycle peaking in October of 2024, which is outside of the eight month indicator for the panel's forecast. July was a remarkable month for solar activity. The current solar cycle crossed multiple thresholds. We witnessed the first X-class solar flare in many years. At one point, six sunspots appeared on the solar disk. The last time that this many sunspots were seen at one time was in September of the year 2017. The month of July also saw two radial blackouts that occurred across the globe. Last month I reported that a coronal mass ejection that took place on the far side of the sun was so strong that it was felt on Earth, despite the fact that it was not Earth directed. Since that time, a number of CMEs have narrowly missed our planet. On July 25th, a hole opened on the sun's outer layer, allowing solar winds to escape traveling towards our planet at 895,000 miles per hour. The solar winds made a glancing blow to the Earth's magnetosphere, causing minor cracks in our protective field. On July 28th, a magnetic filament on the Sun's upper hemisphere erupted. The resulting CME traveled our way, barely missing the Earth. The Earth's close encounters with CMEs is troubling because they are one of the primary causes of geomagnetic unrest on our planet. Along with solar flares, they can severely disrupt technology. If solar activity continues to intensify, some of the CMEs that face the Earth will inevitably strike. As of August the 4th, there are what appears to be three holes in the sun's atmosphere which are presently facing the Earth. Emerging streams of solar wind could reach us by August the 6th, which could initiate geomagnetic storms. So keep your eyes to the sky as the sun has many surprises. The sun's unexpected increase in activity and its unpredictability are well known. Its erratic behavior has become a major focal point among scientists in recent years, and for obvious reasons. And yet here on our planet, there are catastrophic events taking place at this moment that should be garnering a great deal of attention, but which are buried in the news. In the past few weeks, the skies over the Republic of Saka, also known as Yakusha, have turned an ominous red as the sun has been completely darkened by wildfire smoke. Yakusha, which is Russia's largest territory, was once known as the Kingdom of Permafrost, but now it is turning into an inferno of wildfires, which have already incinerated nearly five million acres of territory. In this scene, ash is falling like snowflakes during the mid-afternoon of August the 2nd. Residents of Yakushk, the world's largest city built on permafrost, has spent weeks surrounded by toxic smog and ash created by the intense fires. Many of them are now struggling to breathe. To the west and north of Yakushk, the scene is apocalyptic, with daylight turning black and red. Residents of villages located in the fire zone have reported blackouts and ash rain. 2,000 firefighters are presently fighting the flames in Yakusha. 
In Greece, a similar scene is taking place, where a severe heat wave over the past week has sparked many fires, including the foothills near the capital of Athens, where authorities have told residents to stay indoors as wildfires rage across the region. Wildfires have been recorded across the country, which come during the worst heat wave since the year 1987. In California, the raging Dixie wildfire has leveled the historical community of Greenville and its surroundings. The before and after images are a stark reminder of the devastation wrought by immense wildfires. According to U.S. Forest Service operations, the fires are becoming abnormal. They are much worse than what they are accustomed to fighting, and they are much more difficult to control. The Dixie wildfires have been burning in four northern California counties since July 14th, with nearly 435,000 acres already burned as of August the 6th. The fire is only 22% contained. It has become the third largest wildfire in California's recorded history. On July 31st, a mysterious green meteor fell to Earth over Izmir, Turkey. The illuminated space rock caused a huge explosion and sonic blast, which left many people awestruck and speculating as to whether the object was a falling satellite or a UFO. Incomprehensible scenes over the Aegean coastal city of Izmir, with its legendary history, were recorded at 2 a.m. local time. In one clip, you will see the green object disappear behind the hills whereas another clip shows a bright burst of light before the meteor appears to crash to Earth at the bottom right of the video frame. The alien glow illuminating the Izmir object could likely be the element nickel that is found in some meteors, which also contain iron. Coincidentally, the sighting took place in one of many regions of Turkey that is presently battling more than 100 immense wildfires. On August the 5th, an earth-grazing fireball showing here in green shot across the sky above Mauna Kea on the Big Island of Hawaii. The fireball was captured by the Subaru Telescope at 9.30 p.m. local time. The orange line showing in the video capture is an optics laser produced by the Keck Telescope, which excites the atmosphere and then increases the resolution of the observation. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always, Keep looking to the sky.